Electric blast is also affecting our kids. A driving force behind all the school delays you see at the bottom of your screen is not so the weather will have two more hours to heat up. It's because of our children's school buses. Oh, she's pretty cold. Han Altman is already preparing school buses for the Arctic blast. He's the transportation director for Northwest Hendricks School District. The engines, since they're a diesel engine, we plug them in in the evenings. Um, make sure you know that the engine block itself is warmed up and stays warm. Altman and his maintenance crew have to worry about stop arms, doors, batteries, air systems, even the fuel freezing. We'll check. Uh, we've got some diesel additives that we can add to the fuel because the diesel fuel will gel up when it gets that cold. Altman's crew extends to the drivers. In this rural school district, about 90% of the drivers, like Travis Newsom, keep their school bus at home. Pretty much you have to plan ahead and get up in time to get out here and get them started when it's going to be as cold as it is tomorrow. You know, I'll probably start them 45 minutes before I leave. But ultimately, if it doesn't, then we get the call and we have to run out to wherever that bus is at and help get it started. Altman says the two-hour delay gives everyone involved extra time for this and allows him to start up the buses already on school grounds, run them for about 30 minutes, turn them off, take care of any problems, and then send them on their way. The delay also helps kids who have to walk down those long rural driveways, hopefully saving them from having to stand there waiting for buses that run into mechanical problems. If we're running behind or anything, they could be standing out there for several minutes. And when the, with the wind factor and all that, uh, it gets really cold. And remember, for a list of school delays and closings, just look at the scroll at the bottom of your screen or head online to theindychannel.com.